Rebecca heard of variety Pulcherima, okay? And actually, it is easy to tell simply from foliage. If you look at the foliage and you feel it, it's extremely hispid, all right? Much more, it's not rougher than a sunflower, but you can feel the individual hairs uh, more freely. Like kiwi, huh? Yeah, more, exact, kind of like a kiwi fruit, exactly. More freely than you can on the sunflower, okay? Obviously, you won't confuse it with the sunflower because it's a different shape. Sunflower's got a deltoid shape. This one's sort of got an uh, ovate shape or an elliptical shape that occurs after it. Uh, uh, it, it it's got a winged petiole that, that uh, sends it out maybe two or three inches and then the leaf occurs. So you got a really rough feel to it, but you can actually see the individual hairs on this particular plant. It's extremely hispid. Okay, and then you notice that the uh, this flowers and ray flowers here again a composite head so the ray flowers are always this sort of yellowish orangish tannish color but on Rebecca the uh, disc flowers the, the flowers on the inside are always sort of a brownish uh, color which gives it its common name black-eyed Susan okay so, obviously you won't get this confused with black-eyed Susan vine because it's Black-eyed Susan vine has just simply got a black throat, whereas this actually has two sets of flowers on it, uh, rays and discs, okay? All right, you no normally see this, you sort of see a, uh, a rosette of this hispid foliage, followed by, uh, once it's time for it to flower, uh, a, a, a vertical growth that maybe reaches up to a foot and a half to two foot tall, okay? Maybe three. But you see there are a number of different uh, colors of the uh, flowers and things, but typically you always have that sort of uh, dark brown to black center. I thought these were uh, perennials.